Okay, now I'm going to dab out the sun area just a little bit. So that it's brighter right there. If it doesn't come out perfect, that's fine. Clouds are very forgiving because they're so amorphous. We're adding in some raw umber now, capturing those undertones in the clouds above. Using the side of the brush again. Small marks always help add nuance and dimension and character to our paintings. Now, let's see if we can put in these foreground clouds. I'm mixing my Payne's Gray, Alizarin Crimson, and Raw Umber. Ah, clouds are so forgiving. They're also very beautiful. Clouds closest to the source of light are actually lighter. And that's a good principle for all painting is that whenever an object is closest to the source of light, it becomes lighter itself. Now, I'm really loading up my brush now to bring in those heavy dark tones. Now our reference photo is just that, it's a reference. So we don't have to be too concerned about being literal. That's too much work anyway. It's always better to underdo a painting than overdo it. If you underdo it, you can come back and fix it or try to salvage it. If you overdo it, there's not much you can do.